Lauren Bull. And who do you play? Joy. My name is Victoria Smurfit and I play Nikki. Thrilling. That was a long answer, so I will <laughs> add to that. Um, it, listen, it's always fun to play um, women who are uh, as flawed as women are, because uh, procreating the idea of us all being perfect little housemakers is frankly dull, even though she is a perfect little housemaker, but she's also a filthy minx. That's true too. Yeah. And I'm talking like personally, nothing exactly. to do with the show. Nothing to do with the show. It's how I got the part. It's palpable, isn't it? <laughs> that was us and the other castmates, not with each other. Yeah. We didn't like anybody else, did we? No My husband was an asshole. Yeah, no. But her loved her. Yeah. Love me, love me. She should have gone gay for me, but I, I tried. Actually, I kind of did. You kind of did. I know. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Now you guys, I know you guys both from TV. And you are my wicked queen, Jet Long. Cruella. Jet Long guys being on a regular serialized TV show to a film because you guys were off site. Sorry. You guys were filmed on location. In Portland. Yes. How do you find the difference between swinging from a busy TV series to a film? Do you know what's interesting? I find no difference at all. When it, the TV shows are, it's the hours are sort of the same and just as brutal. It's just as brutal, and whether you're away from home, it's always brutal. I don't really find a big the, the um, doing is not very different between film and TV. Yeah, it's true that, true that. I mean, the craft service is better on a network show, let's be Much fair. better. Yeah. Although it kind of sucked on True Blood. Oh, did it? <laughs> Just like the snacky, meals were pretty good. Okay, you the need to come to Once Upon a Time. You need to come to Once Upon a Time. I went, my husband. husband. Yeah, that's true. Her, Her husband thing. is my husband. Exactly. He's my work husband. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh my God, the, the food snacks. was amazing. Yeah. Now, yeah. it's all about the snacks. It's all about the snacks. More stories about women. And, and directed how, by women. And how complicated they are. I think they all shy away from the complications of women because we can feel four things in the same moment and them all be legitimate. And I think that's not that's what men don't understand. They're legitimately felt and legitimately real. But they're and never as represented. nuanced yeah. as men and complicated. Yeah. So just more of us. More of us. More of us. Particularly just, just us. She and I. Yeah. As women, would you guys prefer to create your own story in a movie or on a TV show? Because TV feels like it's a lot more free. You know, I'm sort of feeling like it's the golden age of TV right now. What we, It's sort of the wild, wild west with Amazon and Netflix and all of these different modes in the way that content is coming at us. So to me, that gives you a lot of artistic freedom. And I, I'd put bang on my buck for my own TV series that I would create. Ooh, I'm going to be in it. You already are. Okay, good. As, as I don't know, tea lady? As who? Tea lady. Tea I'll lady. do the tea. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll do the snacks. <laughs> if you guys could put together your own TV show for one of the studio services, would it be a comedy, a drama, a dramedy? Dramedy. Dramedy. Because that's what life is. Uh, yeah, that's what women are, and that's what life is. Exactly. That's really what life is. It's yeah. hysterical and heartbreaking and everything in between. So let's show it all, people. Yes! Take that energy and put it out. <laughs> Go forth <laughs> and manifest. Yes. Thank you so much for talking. Thank you. Thank you so much.